Bare afslag. before he forgets what day it is, or who I am. No, 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 not you, not today. This day will be about relaxation and inspiration. I am not to be disturbed on my precious day off. I will spend it with the love of my life. Myself. And my art, of course. Sounds fun. Can I help? For this, I need you to get something very important for me. Go away! Good morning, Care Bear! Uh -huh. I'm glad to see you and Spot doing something for the environment. It's not waste if you don't waste it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hey, let's make eye contact. you're being controlled by a higher power or like some kid come back after my alarm goes off I'm on a tight beauty sleep schedule I wouldn't bother going that way if I were you, SpongeBob. Big traffic jam blocking the road up ahead. What? Then how is everyone enjoying food at the Krusty Krab? They aren't. See for yourself. Oh, I, I appreciate it, bro. Thank you so much, bro. Definitely. I ain't been knowing that I had to do a lot of stuff. Good idea! A movie about how delicious the chum bucket is would rake in millions. I really appreciate you looking out for me, bro. Hey, you know I meant the Krusty Krab. Nobody goes to the chum bucket unless it's to ask for directions away from it. Anyway, officials are still investigating where the nails that caused this chaotic collision came from. Okay, uh, you... You playing the game right now? Maybe Mr. Krabs can help find the culprit. He did have a truck full of nails delivered the other day. He must know a lot about nails. Oh, snap. I'm about to tune in, bruh. Hold up. I got to my phone and tune in. Hold on. I got to tune in. Man, you heard what Sonny Fox? Uh, how he got that man Cyrex Nerf? I mean, uh, bump. 
That boy said, Canada, boy, they, they all going on something the fuck. Hold on, let me, let me tone in. I gotta read what you said. Hold on. Check it. Okay, okay.
All right, back it up. Nothing to see here except the giant traffic jam. Huh, I wonder who's at fault here. Probably that guy. Quiet down, I'm trying to sleep with my eyes open. Put some padding on that one, Sandy. Patrick and I are about to have the best day ever at Glove World. Do you want to come? Thanks. But you ain't putting no glove on this squirrel. I'd rather seek the thrill of toning exercises and rubber duckies. But if you got a little time to spare, I could use your help hauling out some old junk from my yard. Anything for you, Sandy. I'm ready to haul. Y'all. Did I get smaller or did these tiki's get bigger? on this beautiful day. Oh, SpongeBob! Didn't you hear? It's a tragedy! There's a huge sale at the mall today, but because of this stupid traffic jam, none of the buses can get me there. That is a tragedy. Well, the bus to Glove World is still running. You could join me and Patrick there instead. Um, thanks, but I have a social status to uphold. You have fun without me, SpongeBob! How could this happen to me? Why is my life... Sorry, my rectangular friend. Nobody's getting through right now. We're still sorting out this massive traffic jam. Oh, I see. Well, thanks anyway, officer. Good luck cracking the case. Bikini Bottom, the most perfectly perfect place in the entire year. Good morning, best friend. Are you ready for a lovely adventure? Not. Nah. What am I? I stayed up all night pretending I had hands. 47 seconds later. Cool kids. <laughs> Hi. <Nah. sighs> I wish I could do cool things. This wagon just ominously appeared out of nowhere? Who cares? Hmm. Uh, nah. Still not cool enough. Huh? <gasps> Can I have this? What, this old piece of... Magic and mystery. 
Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Madame Cassandra, purveyor of long-lost treasures of the Seven Seas. For those on a budget. Magic bubbled soap. Breathe life into your dreams. They say with this unique bubble maker thingy, you can become whoever you want to be. Receive whatever you want to have. Just bubble your wish into the heavens. Not that it ever worked for me. Ooh. One hour later. I wish no. I wish no. I wish this. Okay, my first wish is on behalf of my very best friend who loves balloons. I wish for Patrick to have the biggest balloonist adventure of his life. <laughs> Balloons! Is it too much to ask for just one day of peace and quiet? How am I supposed to paint my newest masterpiece with you two clowns constantly giggling in my ears? I wish that Squidward will finally be appreciated for his art. What are you two up to? Wait for it. I wish for the whole world to see how amazing Sandy is. Nifty bubble! <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> SpongeBob, what does it mean when it says, Only those of innocent heart may harness the power of the mermaid tears? I guess it means I was destined to find this bubble soap. Hey, wait. It also says, Property of King Neptune. Not for use by mortals. Use sparingly and with caution. Patrick, what have we done?
would have thought that a magic potion from a mysterious fortune teller in a sketchy wagon could backfire. Yes, it was utterly unforeseeable. Wait a second! Patrick, you're a balloon! I wish! If I were a balloon, I'd be able to do cool stuff like this! And this! And this! See, SpongeBob? Oh. I am a balloon! That's probably why I've been feeling so bloated lately. We need to find our friends and make sure they're all right! Good thing Squidward is such an even-tempered fella, or he might get upset about this. My rock! My beautiful giant rock! All that's left are my... Oh no! My giant sticky notes are gone too! Now how am I gonna remind myself to buy more giant sticky notes? Don't worry, Patrick. I'm sure those sticky notes are around here somewhere. Or there. Or over there. Looks pretty broken. Wait a minute. Maybe all this craziness is from one of Sandy's experiments gone wrong. I bet it's all her fault. I don't think so, Patrick. Sandy's experiments always leave the smell of acorns in the air. All I smell around here is <gasps> sponge breath and bubble soap. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. I can finally put my black belt to good use. And all this time, I've been using it as a scarf. Hmm. Sandy's house feels wetter than usual. I think we might need to find the top half still. Bikini Bottom eat now! And without Mr. Krabs, who will help them unburden their wallets? I need to fix this! Take your wobbly hand off of me! I'm too smart to end like this! That should cover my 
buns? A little dab of Gria. Cellular idiots. Thanks to you, all of Bikini Bottom is sunk into chaos. My restaurant is tipped over, and our poor little spot is missing. You could have at least involved me. That's like, you know, my thing. Correct. Sorry, Plankton. We'll make things right again. You have to fix this before someone besides me can take advantage of this chaos. Correct. Why are you repeating yourself? Is your hard drive skipping again? In. Correct. Yoo-hoo! Over here, my little blunders. Out, SpongeBob. I have a bit of a heated situation here. My best friend. I'm flying! My adorable cuties, you survived this calamity.
Madam Cassandra. We were just having fun, but we accidentally used too much of your magic bubble soap and destroyed Bikini Bottom. And now all of our friends are gone, and there's jelly everywhere, and... 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 I miss my Care Bear! <laughs> oh, this is just too perfect. That's not just any jelly, SpongeBob. It's cosmic jelly, the glue of reality. Your bubble extravaganza must have blown holes through the universe, squeezing the jelly out and sucking your friends into new and strange worlds. That was gonna be my first guess. You have to bring me as much of it as you can gather so I can study it and, um, help reverse the mess you've created. After all, I'm at least partially responsible giving you such a powerful potion by accident. Makes sense to me. Uh, no questions here. Excellent. Now Jump into the portals that opened up all over town. I can use some of the jelly to tailor cosmic costumes for you, each linked to one portal. The more jelly you bring, the more portals we can pass. Are you ready? I'm ready! Come on, let's save Bikini Bottom from the unintended yet devastating consequences of our own actions. Find the portal that suits your costume. Once you have located your friends, you can use the magic bubble wand to return them home. about this, huh? Make sure to... Woo! I look like some kind of pastoral cattle rancher. I wonder if there's a name for something like that. One of our friends might be on the other side of this portal. Come on, Patrick. We have to rescue them. It's our friendship duty.
a strong feeling we're not Bikini Bottom anymore. Looks more like the Wild West. Partner, I'm looking for my pal, Mr. Krabs. About yay high, red, likes money. Crab problem, eh? <laughs> I reckon you're going to want to talk to the sheriff in Manta Fe. Shoo! What a fun ride! Now, yeah, let's get in line and ride it again. Cassandra wants all this stuff. The only thing I know how to do is selling sandwiches. Patrick, Cassandra knows what she's doing. If she says bringing her jelly will help get our friends back, then bring her jelly we shall. SpongeBob, what do you see? Water? Soda? Is soda water? What do you see? Barnacles, it's so small! We'll never fit in there! Why do we have to be so big? No, oh, it's not small, Patrick. It's not? It's just very, very far away. We're safe, Patrick! It's Mrs. Puff! If anyone knows where Mr. Krabs is, it's her! She probably doesn't know us here, even though she knows us back home. Here we have to get to know her first, just like we got to know her the first time she got to know us back home, you know? No. Huh. Maybe we can take this path later. But who knows? Maybe not.
What's this luggage doing in the middle of the desert? I think it dropped from Mrs. Puff's carriage. Look, more loose luggage. How do we get across? I think that's a button. Strangers, you came here by foot? That's awfully dangerous. You could dry out in a heartbeat. I get puffy just thinking about it. I get puffy after eating stale food. Hi, my name's SpongeBob, and this balloon is Patrick. We're looking for our friend, Mr. Krabs, but he might not be called Mr. Krabs. He could be traveling under a different name. Oh, like Jeremy. Or Petunia. Or Captain Claus. Or Ronaldo. A crab without a name, huh? Try Manta Fay. It's where everyone without something ends up. Could you give us a ride there? This is a riding school, not a taxi service. However, if you take my test, you could get there yourself with your own riding license. My very own license? Whenever you're ready, meet me by the seahorse. We'll see if you can stay on it all the way to Manta Fe. I really gotta 
keep an eye on you. I mean, teacher lady, uh, I need to confess that uh, I've been through this sort of thing before, and uh, I'm not always the best test taker, so... Uh... So, any chance we can skip this part? Nonsense, SpongeBob. <laughs> A little rodeo never hurt anyone who survived it.
Ready, set, and go! No! SpongeBob, jump! Well done, SpongeBob. You scored 35.7 points. Have six points <laughs> out of seven. <laughs> Only one point away from passing. Yay! Oh, can we repeat the test? It was so much fun. Oh no, that's not necessary. I, I didn't know you had fun. Fun is worth an extra point. <laughs> Here's your license. Thanks, partner. Oh, license. <laughs> She can. This license only allows me to ride seahorses and seahorse-like animals, with the exception of. Uh, this doesn't say anything about boatmobiles. Well, once boatmobiles have been invented, I'll just have to take the test again. We made it to Manta Fe, my floating friend. Boy, boy, is killing me for all that riding you had to do. Look, it's Sandy. I mean, it's the sheriff. Now, look what the snail dragged in. You may be yellow as mustard, but you got the bite. Oh, don't bite. Too unsanitary. I'm looking for my friend, Mr. Krabs. Have you seen him? He's got big, beautiful eye stalks and tiny little legs. I'm off duty for the dole, sweetie. But hey, if you can take me, I might look into your case. Yo, in. Better get yourself a straw partner and make sure it sits straight. We're going to have ourselves a nice little cactus soda showdown. There ain't a sea critter alive that can drink more soda than me. You're going down faster than a baby at nap time. Jelly bandits! Uh, I think he lost his pants. Jelly bandits like that? Let's choke, 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 choke! Salute! Salute! School! Cheers! Ever since any 
any chance you can go up to Captain Hills and fetch some more cactus juice for us? The sooner we can finish our duel, the sooner I can solve your crab case. Don't you worry, Sheriff. Deputy SpongeBob. And Balloon Deputy Patrick. Are on the case. Vampires and public speaking. Just a conformist. Did you get the? They're not even pretty. They're just green, juicy, and thorny. L like a cucumber that hurts your mouth when you eat it. Don't worry. Uh-oh. Looks like it wants to duel. looking gentleman can point us in the right direction. Howdy, sir. I'm SpongeBob SquarePants. Have we met before? Hey, cowboy. Uh, sorry, uh, you don't ring any bells. But I couldn't help but overhear you talking about entering the cactus beverage business. That demands a strong spine. suggest hiring a consultant to guide you. For a wee share of, um, 70%, I'll tell you where to find the cacti with the most refreshing sap. Folks pay insane amounts of money for them since the show... 70%? That sounds a bit fishy. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say 70? I meant, um, 80, of course. Now we're talking. Just keep going till you reach them Cacteen Hills. 
ye scam your hard-working consultant. I'm only taking 90% of the business. Come on, Patrick. Let's find those thorny cucumbers. An old warning sign. It says, Cacteen Hills. Spines, deadly heat, bandits, and quicksand. This seems pretty dangerous, SpongeBob. Maybe there's a seahorse around here in need of a licensed rider. Oh, well, baby, that cactus is way up there, huh? meeting you here. Just, uh, checking on the barrels. You know, keeping them safe from bandits. There's Juicy Prophet, I mean, uh, Cacti, all around these parts. Now get! Patrick, that juicy cactus gold awaits us! Yeah! <laughs> I'm feeling better already. <laughs> so gooey. Confusion is a goat on AstroTurf. don't live longer you don't live longer in the city it just seems that way
Nothing is over there.
sticky sweet.
Machine Man will break his arm patting himself on the back. I just want a little taste, please. Fun. Hey kid, be careful. This heat does funny things to your head.
to cover my buns. <laughs> so do we. Gotta bring all this sap back to that guy who looks kind of familiar. You got a knack for reaching them cacti. Just drop the juice in this here barrel for uh, <laughs> safekeeping. Did you drop the mini uh, <laughs> juice in the barrel yet? One barrel down. Follow that trail, my little saps.
Some men are so crooked they can swallow a nail and spit.
Oh, I'm gonna need more sap than that, boyo. Bring me some more sap. sign it says mine closed bullworm activity that little wormy must be pretty busy to make such big holes well, maybe we should keep moving patrick Is it just me, or is everything in this place like a murder? We melt those cactuses for all they were worth.
the side or something. That should cover my buns. Patrick, I think we've fallen down some kind of large, dark, worm-shaped cavern. That means it was probably made by a ferocious, terrifying creature, like a, a goose. I see, I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, take me toward it. I got you, buddy. Mm -hmm. Strangelings, what brings you to this whole place? If you're after gold, get lost! It's all mine! We really, really need to get back to the surface, Mr. Miner, sir. Our friend Soda depends on it.
could let you use my elevator. But what's in it for me? Anything you want. There's nothing that this amazing duo can't get. Good. That darn Alaskan bullworm is obsessed with my gold. Knocks my shiny tooth out. Bam! Just like that. If you can get my tooth, I can get you up to the surface. If I was a tooth on the loose in the nest of a giant worm, where would I be? Speaking as a slob who lives in a hole, I think something is living in this hole! Gary's litter box in here. That smell was not me. I swear.
Uh, I would have bet a gold nugget you'd be worm food by now. But since you survived, did you find my tooth? Do snails leave slime in the woods? Of course! Whatever you say. The elevator's all yours, boys. Oh, and I don't know what you did down there, but it left a powerful stink on you. All right, let's take that elevator. That should lift our spirits. <laughs> ourselves a train to catch.
Orange Lager, SpongeBob. I know you mean well, but you gotta let me stay. Please. You're under arrest, red-handed bandit. Like, like I was saying, SpongeBob, you gotta take me back. I beg you, this old soft shell won't last a day in jail. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm taking this one in. I sure should stop drinking so much cactus soda on the job. Sure taught me a valuable lesson. That it's not all about money? What? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. It's always about money. I, 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 but I did learn that I can't put a price on me employee of the month. I'm here to help, Mr. Krabs. We'll find Pearl and the Krusty Krab and bring them back on the double. That's a good lad. Now, off you go. I'm sure you can get around a little faster now with those new riding skills of yours. There are still a lot of friends to bring back home, Patrick. Let's ride! We should ask Cassandra where else we can find our friends. That lady knows everything! It's like she has this whole plan now. <laughs> A little babble, do ya? SpongeBob, I need your help. Sheldon's pride would never allow him to ask, but your mischief tipped over the chum bucket, and we need you to stand it back up. We already built a meticulously calculated rig, but Sheldon didn't account for his own <clears throat> slight stature. Excuse me. There are more important things than knocked-over trash cans. It's not a trash can. It's a bucket. And it's Bikini Bottom's sole restaurant. I know everyone would love to be eating out of a bucket right now, but the fate of the entire universe is currently hanging in the balance. No biggie. I'm sure the universe can hang in there until we've helped a friend in need. <laughs> of a water tower. I guess that's a tower that shows that you're underwater. That's stupid. Tell SpongeBob hi. Oh, hello, little sticky nose. You do care. I don't get why this doesn't work. My calculations are flawless. Maybe we can help. I don't need your help. But if you want to make up for this whole mess, I guess I would allow you to assist me. 
Here, use this super velocitous momentum enhancer that I invented to get the job done. Ooh, is that a bubble surfboard? Yes, but I gave it a fancy name, so I get the credit. I've never been in here before, but since the Krusty Krab is gone, I guess I have no choice. Does this place offer anything edible? Technic, you fools! <laughs> Plankton, I always suspected that deep down you were a contributing member of society. And don't worry, Patrick and I won't stop until we put everything back to normal, so no one has to eat at the Chum Bucket ever again. Wait, was that last part really necessary? Hey, Giggle Buddies, both of you listen closely. I managed to track Spot's trails, but they are scattered everywhere and are leading to all of those portals. Wow, Spot is really going places. I said listen! You have to look for him in all of those worlds you're going to. You're the only one that can bring him back. Don't worry, Plankton. We'll look everywhere for him until he's back home safely. Good. Now out of my sight. Time to get back to business as usual. Thank you. Oh, my, yes. So much pure, unadulterated jelly, so much raw power to create your next costume. You should find it very familiar, but don't let appearances fool you. When you step through the next portal... My karate gear, the most stylish outfit I own. Getting around will be much faster with these seahorses. Will be much bumpier too. These jelly things kind of look like something Squidward would make, right? Oh yeah, I think he called them. What was the word? Art. What did he call them? Samantha.
I confirm we don't give up hope. SpongeBob and Patrick are on their way. Stretch limos. You gotta stretch first. You think Sandy came this way? She never struck me as a red carpet squirrel. Good thing I put on an extra layer of sponge gloss today. would have expected someone bigger for the part, but everyone seems small to me. <laughs> Sorry, am I oversharing? It's my first day, and I'm so nervous! Sergeant, one minute and 58 seconds. Uh, no, 57. Uh, script down. Uh, 50. Uh, just hurry up. Statistically speaking, the director's assistants only last 0.87 days before they're let go. I need to do better. Chop, chop, this way. He isn't the patient kind, or the understanding kind, or the kind kind. I can't believe this is the leading man! The capture this train wreck! Whoa! They're taking photos of us! Are we in the movies? Oh. Do I look floated enough? I just have myself inflated. <laughs> or I will get fired. The director is waiting for you. Huh? How did you get here so fast? She must have cut the line, Patrick. Lucky. That is one big heavy jelly. As long as it stays in that cage, you'll be fine.
think it because it's squishy. I got you, buddy. looking at us? Great. into the distant future! I think it's just a movie set, Patrick. Ooh. Then where's the crowd service? Unfashionably late, I see. Now get to your marks. The director is Squidward? He's got vision, SpongeBob. This film's gonna be a real turkey. Is gonna be a real turkey.
What squirt of an actor did those at the agency lay upon me? I promised them art, and how do they repay me? I demanded a hero, not a little yellow marshmallow. Did you shrink by spending too much time in a hot tub? Ha. <sighs> Hi, Mr. Director, sir. I'm SpongeBob. Filming starts at 9, uh, 8, uh, uh, really soon. Can't those uncultured casting urchins comprehend that I am allowing them to be part of what is sure to be the greatest film sensation ever to hit the sea? But don't lose heart. I still have the talent to turn you into a tool of destructive beauty. Oh, goody! In this scene, you must fight your way through gang-infested city streets. And don't walk out of frame. And action! <laughs> so gooey. Defeat those jelly What's hi hi, Mr. Director? In the scene, you must fight and action. <laughs> of an actor in the scene. And action!
beautiful bubble. I want to pop it. You can't. It is indestructible magic thanks to the jelly you're collecting from my, um, our cause. Cassandra, are you sure this is the right place to find Sandy? The portal brought you right where you're supposed to be. Don't resist the Jellyverse. Instead, take it, store it, and bring it to me. Besides, the Jelly whispered that you've done some... commercial work. Don't your square pants long to be in the spotlight once more? You're right! If it means saving Sandy and the world, then I'll just have to act my square heart out. Thanks, Cassandra! <laughs> We're so lucky to have Cassandra helping us. What a selfless lady. I just want a little taste, please. to see a wimp run around, I'd be directing Wimp Racer 2, like my agent told me to. This is a karate film! But I guess I have to work with what I've got. Let's start with something simple. A karate kick! Karate kick it! To really prove that you know how to embody a great hero of karate, I have prepared a little challenge for you. Across the roofs of the city. Now, kick down that door and get moving. I say we wah, kick things off. <laughs>
are. My limbs feel even spongier than usual. I hope Cassandra is right, and all this bopping around will lead us to Sandy. <laughs> Look quick and hungry. Yeah, we got that in common. <laughs> I think we'll need that part to get past them. Oh no, not these guys again. Karate kick them out of my darn sack, would ya? Hey, short yellow and spongy! There's a lot of paparazzi hiding on this set who wish to smear the director's reputation by capturing the fishy side of his process, which obviously doesn't exist. It would be real cool if you could distract them with some of your fancy moves. I will make myself extra picturesque.
think it is? Security guard will let you pass now. Put that jelly in my belly. I guess some guy dealt with the paparazzi. You can pass now. Karate King has to prove cat-like reflexes. I feel inspiration is about to strike. I found craft services! Those um, volunteers in the box <laughs> will help you train your reflexes. When someone pretends to escape, whack them! Won't that hurt them? That's legally impossible. The contracts clearly state that they, quote, can't be harmed. <laughs> well, you know, I guess that makes sense. But wait, Patrick didn't sign a contract. What, what? Oh, fine. Then don't whack him when he appears. It'll help test your, um, concentration. Now, let's go. We're burning valuable spotlight. And action. I have to karate kick the crew? Oh, I hope I don't hurt them. Ah, oh, look. They love it. Well, okay. Making movies sure is a weird process. Cut! 
What? You're not entirely useless as long as you keep moving. Now head back onto the streets. The next screen test is about to start. Go! Taping.
Scene, your nemesis tried to rob a bank and left nothing but chaos. Innocent bystanders got stuck in the ground and need their hero. Believe it or not, that's you. Save them before the time runs out. And action! Some villain buried people under rubble! Who could... It's a beast, SpongeBob, I swear! Oh, thank Neptune. I never doubted you for a second, buddy.
hate you. your autograph. your autograph. More chafing. Believe you saved me. I mean, just look at you. To my genius, your performance has become tolerable. Now go ahead and strike some heroic karate poses for the press. me and disappear into your character. Remember why you're there. To get me more jelly. Uh, don't you mean to save Sandy? 
Right, of course. And also to save your squirrel friend. It's my job to make sure the celebrities are protected from all kinds of lunatics. Your job sounds so interesting. I think I could watch you do it forever. Uh, thanks. If I wasn't a cheetah. Whatever. Hop into the red boat and chase down your nemesis. But I don't have a driver's license. Throw your squishy bottom on some vehicle you're allowed to drive and get on with it. Oh, my captain's quarters still hurt from chasing that train. I vote nay. Ooh, sleek lines. Comfortable seat. No slip pedals. Definitely has the cool factor. This is my ride, baby! I almost forgot to mention. All the danger is real, and we've taken no safety precautions to up the drama. We can replace and action!
guy drives like a maniac. Yeah, a maniac who loves barbecues. What a nut job! Squishy. I want to bang the gongs. Looks like we need to bang them in a specific order. Karate kick those gongs. Chafing. A citizen in need! Karate Bob to the rescue! Well, we have to fight those jelly guns again. I hope we can use stunt men!
thought this film would be a train wreck, but the director went all out. Those jelly extras were very convincingly beating me up. <gasps> well, we thespians do take our jobs pretty seriously. And his choice for the villain? Wow! I just caught a glimpse. That's a wild animal if ever I've seen one. <laughs> This Zen Garden is so calm. Ah, oh, you said it. Whoa! Go Zen Garden! Look at what a little taste! Please? Listen, you talking cheese! You're not getting paid an exposure for chit-chat! If you want to convince my audience you're the real Karate King, you better show them some impressive acrobatics. Now, run across the roofs of the skyscraper to get into your nemesis fortress. Could I just use the elevator? No! And action!
feeling better already. What flavor do you think it is? Ooh, I'm thinking pasta? <sighs> no more chafing.
look, it's Sandy. I mean, oh, look, Sandy. Well, if that ain't the sponge they call Bob, then his biggest Dallas balloonatic partner Patrick stepped through my door. Actually, we came in through the roof. Is is that right? Well, you'll be leaving through the floor, cause I'm in a mood, and my mood is coming. Nobody mm -hmm. watches a film for the dialogue. My audience demands colors and motion converging into visual conflict. We need crash, boom, bang, not yap, yap, yap. Now throw out the stupid script. There's a script? And action! That should cover my buzz.
SpongeBob! 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 Did that explosion give you a concussion? You remember to sign the waiver, right? I never thought you'd pull it off. But that was actually fantastic! I can already see the sequel. Nay, the trilogy. Let's start shooting immediately! Light, camera, sound! From the top, people! And... No problem, Sandy, but there's still a lot to make right again. See you around! I'm glad Sandy and her weird house came back, but I want my house back, too! I hear you, pal. Ooh, I bet Cassandra will help. She's the most trustworthy person we know. should be inside with our elderly residents, but they discovered this new radio channel and went crazy. Nothing will settle them down. I usually keep fortune cookies on me for emergencies like these. The soothing crunches are so calming. But unfortunately for me, the cookies have all disappeared amidst the town's chaos. Come on, Patrick. We can find those clairvoyant cookies. It's nice to be back, but I will miss the freedom of being untethered to reality, you know? Chafing. I can't believe that Amoeba would dare to go missing. I think you mean right. Thank you. 
The Kitty Bottom has never looked better. But it's covered in mysterious cosmic jelly stuff. Cassandra, please help. We have to find my house. Without that, I'm just a common talking sponge. Sorry, Spongy. I'm just a little preoccupied fixing the fabric of the entire universe that you blew apart. Cassandra, will you please help us fix my house? Sure, right after we fix your friends, your town, the cosmic order of everything. Oh, my beautiful home. And a delicious pineapple. Here, why don't you take this cosmic costume and enter the portal? Well, you know, I'm a... Yo-ho! What be a pipe? 